Hi guys. This isn't the usual date with the stripper episode of what's going to be heading to the stripper. This one's been to the stripper. This one's going back to the stripper. This little car has me rethinking some things. I'll explain that in a minute. So I recently received this Husky Volkswagen pickup casting in a group of other cars that I picked up uh, in a good deal on eBay. There was a consistent theme with those cars. They were all yellow. <laughs> uh, it included a K7 too, which was part of the reason why I picked up the group. But I was looking at this one and uh, I thought, well, this looks like a fun little candidate to do a restoration. You'll see that hole in the bed, uh, in the pickup bed there. This casting comes with attachments and it has some really odd things. It, there's uh, some kind of lift is available for it, and there's a conveyor attachment, and I don't have any of those for it, so I was thinking I'd try and find them. Um, if I couldn't find them, I figured, well, I'll make something out of styrene. I've got some 3D printed pellets. I could always throw those back there, but I, yeah, I figured I'd come up with something. Now, this thing has <laughs> three posts tiny little posts, and a little front flat, and you see I'm working at it there, trying to get the base off, another flat little tongue thing to it. So I finally get it apart. There's not a lot to it. You know, there's the base. There's a, the, I was thrilled that the glass was in you know really good shape. Not much of it is exposed, so that probably protected it. And uh, you know, the base is plastic. The wheels came out pretty easily, so you know, I got it apart, did some cleaning, and you know, I'll, I'll take you through it here, but the plan was to do a restoration. You know, I don't do a lot of restorations, but I uh, get it cleaned up, I get it in the stripper. plan was I was going to paint it kind of the same color. I wanted to see what I had available to me, and uh, it turned out that I had... Uh, bright yellow paint. I'll, I'll show you that in a little bit. But, you know, the, the plan was that this wasn't going to be an episode of Date with the Stripper. Usually, if you've seen the Date with the Strippers in the past, I'm kind of going over what's on the bench that's going to be heading to the stripper before it gets there. But like I said in the intro to this, this one has me rethinking some things. Whoa, let's get a close-up here. Let's focus. There we go. Um, the casting had quite a bit of detail to it, which, which was nice. So yeah, I got it all cleaned up, and there was, it looked like somebody took a shot at the passenger side of the cab. <laughs> so uh, obviously that needed to be filled in, so I got out the Bondo glazing spot putty, and that works great for this kind of thing. I know you're wondering why I wasn't using JB Weld. I don't like busting out the JB Weld when it's unnecessary. <laughs> okay. It's always necessary. But yeah, I, I kind of took a shot at just using this on this one. It was a real small little area. I was using a pellet knife again to do that. You know, a friend recommended using the pellet knives for this kind of thing, and they actually do work pretty well. Um, and I have a variety of them that I picked up cheap, but you know, I. I Figured, okay, this body looks pretty good. Got it sanded up. Hit it with the Army Painter Black Primer. Uh, I went with black because the yellow that I have is exceptionally bright. It's Gloss Sun Yellow Krylon. So I thought if I went with the black primer, it would kind of deaden the color, deaden the yellow. So I hit it with the paint, and then I was off to you know clean up the glass and get it sanded and you know, sand it, hit it with the foot's polish, get it looking really good, get it to the gauzy. And well, while you're watching this, I'll explain that what happened with the paint and what changed the direction and what was kind of the, the big revelation to me on this was the paint did not turn out as well as I had hoped. And 
the gun shot to the back of the cab. I probably should have worked on a little better. And most of you know that I uh, rattle can paint everything, as you saw the rattle cans earlier. Um, I rattle can paint, and I paint outside. And I guess those two things worked against me on this one. They've worked great in the past for whatever reason. I guess it must have been a, I mean, it was a windy day. That much I know. We've been getting a lot of wind here. And uh, so I was painting out in the wind, and I didn't realize it, but I ended up getting some dust in the paint, and the paint just generally didn't turn out the way I, I had hoped. And so I, my natural inclination was to throw it back in the stripper. That's what I normally would have done. <laughs> yeah, I know. I tried to work the JB Weld into it. I wasn't able to. Um, <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> I, uh, uh, my natural inclination was to throw it back in the stripper because when you're doing these YouTube videos and, and the other content creators are aware of it, we, we put these stupid deadlines on ourselves we're, we're trying to do at least a video a week and and there are these self-imposed deadlines that don't really exist but we put them on ourselves and so pretty much every build i do you see a video for i'm not doing other builds i, I just don't have time at least now right now i don't have time um so I don't have a lot of time off camera to try and hone my skills. And and trust me, I know. I know that they need honing. <laughs> I know I have a lot to learn. I'm well aware of that. And uh, I expect more from myself and I hope to get there. But I looked at this casting and I thought, wait a minute. Instead of chucking it into the stripper, why don't I just practice on this one? And you know, before I throw it in the stripper. So what I end up doing, and I don't do it on camera because it, it was kind of difficult to do, but and as I noted earlier, the casting was pretty good. It had a lot of detail to it. Well, I've seen Lee, a time writer over at uh, Wee Little Cars, scrape paint off of castings to bring out the chrome detail, the metal detail that's underneath. And that always looked really interesting to me. I love the results that he was getting. And so I thought, well, let me give it a shot on this one. And so I ended up doing that. I took my X-Acto knife, took a sharp X-Acto knife and went over some of those raised details. And, and finally got a chance to practice that and at this point you can see I've already painted the casting and I have scraped off those areas at this point I scraped off the VW on the front the tail lights uh, the marker lights on the front uh, you know not a lot and, and what I learned was you know first of all this is a thick enamel paint <laughs> and uh it's probably not the best thing to do that with. I could see if the coating was a lot thinner, it would have been better. And But it worked. Uh, but I could see how the chipping, I was doing it very carefully and slowly. And then what I ended up doing was just cutting, taking the tip of the X-Acto knife and cutting around the lights before I started trying to, to scrape the paint. And it probably would have been better if I didn't wait as long to try and scrape the paint for it, if it wasn't as dry. But that being said, I I'm, I'm, was pretty pleased with, with the results, how it came out. And so I, I ended up going over the, you know, there you see me doing the marker lights on the front, going over them with, I, I think that's uh, Rise of Rust. It's, there's the Citadel paints, a white and a red, and um, you know, red for the taillights, the orange for the uh, turn signal indicators on the front, the orange being the rise of rust. And then I tried to do what I've done before on some other cars, mix up the white and the blue, and to come up with, I think I called it Robin's Egg Blue previously. Um, I'm just trying to get a pale blue for the headlights. And again, I had 
scraped off the paint. So I was painting this over the bare metal underneath. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, I, I do need to practice it more. That I, that I know well, but it was fun to try. And I'm definitely going to try it again. Yeah, I'm, I'm hesitant to try it on some of the deadline style builds or if I'm, I'm if I have a good paint job <laughs> I kind of hate to risk it by then scraping it and uh, I know some of the other guys out there man they can they can do a paint job and they can recreate that beautiful paint job over and over and man I get a beautiful paint job and I'm I'm treasuring that I don't want to risk it because I know I probably can't recreate it. Um, so uh, I, I don't know if I'll try that, it on any of the deadline builds soon, but it's definitely something I'm going to practice. And so that's the thing I learned from this, was before you chuck something in the stripper, screw around with it a little bit. You know, try something you've wanted to try. Practice painting trim. Um... Practice freehand painting on a casting. You're going to throw it in the stripper anyway. Why not just, you know, take a few minutes, mess around with it? I mean, you can do this on, you know, bare Hot Wheels castings right out of the blister pack, too. Just practice. Have fun. You know, you, not everything has to be a masterpiece. And, and the way you're going to get there is by practicing. So, if you noticed at the very start, I called this episode Practice Makes... Dot, dot, dot. Well, what practice makes me realize is practice means I need more practice. It makes me realize I need more practice. So, uh, here's this little turd. I didn't bother doing anything for the bed yet. It rolls kind of, sort of. It's on the original wheels. I did uh, use a wash over those. I did use Molotow paint on the bumpers and the base. Um, but yeah, here it is. And it's here's where it started. It was beat to hell. Poor little guy had a good life. And uh, he was well enjoyed. And you'll see what I ended up with here in a second. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, maybe you learned something from it too. Maybe it'll make you a little more adventurous and get out that knife and try scraping things off too. What do you have to lose? You're going to throw it in the stripper anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. To my subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. I really appreciate that you put up with me. <laughs> Everybody stay safe and healthy out there.